Good evening and welcome to the Nevis Newscast for today, Tuesday, May 16th, 2017. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Now for the news in detail. Vehicular traffic to and from Bath Village was closed this week as a result of a structural breach in the Bath Gut Bridge next to the New Testament Church. On Monday, officials from the Ministry of Works, led by the Honorable Troy Liburd, visited the bridge and conducted an inspection of the area. In his comments to the Nevis newscast, Minister Liburd said the breach was noticed following heavy rain events late last week. The Public Works Department, they came in over the weekend after they had gotten reports and they secured the, the bridge area and they have started their surveys already to see to the repairs of the, the bridge. So I want to um, let the general public know that while we might have had a failure here that um, we are already working on having a remedy in the shortest possible um, space of time. Director of Public Works Raoul Pemberton went into great detail why the traffic is being halted at this time and until the bridge is rehabilitated. This was due to some uh, excessive erosion of the footing or foundation area of the bridge support, mainly the center support. On our review or inspection of the area, we noted that the heavy rains of Thursday uh, exacerbated some of the ongoing issues that we would have had here and they caused the total erosion of the base uh, of the support which is the, the soil and aggregate below the concrete. Due to this, uh, the middle section was somewhat suspended and the traffic over the period of just a day caused the failure or the collapse of the middle section and also on the south side we had a total erosion of half of the support. Other members in the public works team at the inspection were Permanent Secretary Dr. Ernie Stapleton, Principal Assistant Secretary Denzel Stanley and the Clerk of Works Daniel Williams. Over the weekend, a group of persons initiated the Helping Hands Initiative, which is a charitable cause, to support families on the island to enable a better standard of living. The launch took place at the Four Seasons Resort on a Saturday, May 13th, and had support both from government representatives and members of the business community. Founder of the initiative, Francine Anson, said that the program is a five-phase initiative. The first phase of the initiative is actually a food bank. And the food bank is geared towards uh, meeting the needs of single parent families, the elderly, and shut in. What we have actually done is we acquired a building and we renovated the building with the help of some of the good corporate citizens of Nevis, such as uh, TDC and uh, Hosford Nevis. Other phases of the program include an emergency aid, a debt reduction, and an empowerment. The religious-based program is supported by the Inter-Caribbean Evangelism Ministries International and the Shekinah House of Prayer. Keith Glasgow, permanent secretary in the Ministry of Social Development, was also on hand and gave support to the initiative. We recognize that the Helping Hand initiative is really a case of helping people so that they can help themselves. It is really a case of providing a platform for people to develop and to grow. And so we recognize that the Helping Hand Initiative really is consistent with the new social protection strategy of St. Nevis, which is to encourage people to be economically dependent, to encourage people to be resilient economically. 
Saturday's event included presentations from the two business houses, We as We Automotive Center, represented by Rene Ambrose, a presentation from Flo, represented by Janine Richardson. A number of business awards were also presented at Saturday's launch. These awards were presented to business places that would have already supported the program. They went to Rams Trading, Hosford's Value Mart IGA, Hosford's Nevis Center, as well as TDC Home and Built-in Depot. Persons interested in making a donation can contact the Inter-Caribbean Evangelism Ministries International, the Helping Hands Initiative, reaching one household at a time. The Youth Department, in association with the Nevis Culturama Committee, with support from Sunshine's Bar and Grill, hosted a Mother's Day display of costumes from the just-completed costume-making workshop. The event took place on Sunday evening at the world-famous Sunshine's Bar and Grill, where patrons were entertained while they enjoyed a sumptuous meal. Director of Youth, Zanella Claxton, made some opening remarks about the workshop. This workshop is in its third year. We have developed over the years and this year we have partnered with the Culturama Secretariat and so our hope is that the costumes that you see today will not just stay here today but will go further and of course as you cheer on and as you see and as you're as amazed as I was as they developed their costumes, when you see them you'll wonder which mass camp these costumes would have come out of. And so I would have spent, and, and Mr. Liebert and Tony Liebert as well, both of us would have spent the last two weeks observing and working alongside the participants. We started off with about, we started off with 25 participants and this evening we have 17 who were able to finish, some were unable to finish due to various reasons. Chairman of Culturama Abonati Leibard said the committee and the secretariat gladly supported the idea as over the years the committee had engaged persons overseas to design and build costumes for the cultural street parade. And we thought that we have enough creative persons and resourceful persons here on Nevis and we needed to expose them to the art and the craft of designing and making costumes. So we will really consented to partner with the Department of Youth and Sports. And so this evening, we are basically here to show what the participants would have learned over the past two weeks at the costume designing workshop. I can assure you that what you see here this evening would amaze you. The various costumes took to the catwalk as the models showed off the creativity and designs by the designers who also were recognized for their efforts. Over the past two weeks, the workshop includes the knowledge and art form in costume production and the participants were indulged in creating a cultural costume with the knowledge I've given them where I paired everyone up in groups to work with. From pencil to paper to the final product, I'm very pleased with the work they come up with and I can say for Cultural Armor 2017, these designs are more than qualified to be displayed on the road. That was Shandy Lewis, the facilitator for the two-week workshop. Also among the patrons witnessing the display was Minister of Culture, the Honorable Mark Brantley, who congratulated the organizers and, more importantly, the designers. Still to come, Single Parent Group hosts Mother's Day Raffle. The details when we return. Think you can handle the long jam and liming for Culturama this year? Well, make sure you don't pass out. Join the Fit Jam sessions and get yourself ready for the road. Work out at the Fit Park at 5 o'clock every Monday, Wednesday and Thursday where personal trainers will make you sweat and DJs will keep you moving. Register when you come, feel good, look good and get ready for Culture Armor 43. Don't you miss this time, no. Welcome back. The Single Parent Support Group on Monday conducted their annual Mother's Day raffle. The event was postponed because of unforeseen circumstances, but the group felt it was important to host the event even though it was post-Mother's Day. Grace Manners, the coordinator of the group from the Social Services Department, made a few remarks. 
but this raffle should have taken place on Friday, May 12th. However, due to circumstances, we were unable to do that. Now today we are doing the raffle. Today we have three prizes. Our first prize, our third prize is a bouquet of flowers with a perfume set. Our second prize is a blender. And our first prize is a very lovely fruit cake. The raffle took place at midday at the War Memorial Square and members of the single parent support group pulled the names and announced the winners. Our third prize winner is Zulu Howell, ticket number 183, and he's the winner of a bouquet of flowers and a perfume set. We have Sandra Hector of Government World, the winning ticket, 118. So congratulations to Sandra Hector for winning the blender. And the winner is Iversi Paris of Rollins Village, and the ticket number is number 38. The raffle is an annual event organized by the group as one of its fundraisers, which go to helping and supporting single mothers on the island. The week-long celebration and observance of Nurses Week culminated on the weekend with two major activities. On Friday evening, the nurses participated in a Thanksgiving service at the Charlestown Wesleyan Holiness Church. During the uplifting service which the nurses conducted, matron of the Alexandra Hospital, Aldris Pemberton Diaz, made a presentation to one of the nurses who would have contributed significantly to the profession. On the 18th of... October 1982, a young lady from the village of Butler's, she probably was 17 years old or 17 and a half years old, way back then, and she journeyed to St. Kitts and decided to commence her career in the field of nursing. She did her three years general nursing program and successfully completed that program. Then she advanced to the midwifery one-year program, and she successfully completed that. She worked in St. Kitts for a while, and while she was there long enough, she decided she wanted to come back home. Sometimes when we finish our nursing, they would keep us in St. Kitts. But this young lady, she decided she wanted to come back to Nevis, and she made such an application to come back. She was transferred to Alexandria Hospital and she was there until the 1st of March, 2017. <laughs> I am speaking of the most recent retired young nurse, Mrs. Hildred Mintus Somerset. Nurse Somersal, obviously emotional, received a tangible token and a standing ovation from the entire congregation for her 35 years in the profession. On Saturday, the nurses moved to the Nevis Performing Arts Center for the annual nurses' concert. The concert, which is an opportunity for the nurses to display their other talent, is always a must-see event for supporters. Here now are some excerpts. To come work with us, apply. Please come join us, cause we're really short staff believers. Look here now. What about if more birds join us and save for a life? This job is rewarded. Yeah, yeah. But I'm trying to. Nurses are humans, we are not at all perfect. When things go wrong, we cry and ask why. Have patience with us while we try and correct things. For there's no rest for us, cause our patients need attention. And that brings us to the end of tonight's presentation of the Nevis Newscast. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing. Good night. <laughs>